Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and get better performance in Apex Legends Season 22 dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to check it out until the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. And once you're here, go down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of FPS and resources from your PC and disabling that will help you gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, open up game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode optimizes your PC by turning things off in the background, ultimately helping you to gain extra FPS. However, if it causes FPS drops, you can disable this again. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and then click on change default graphic settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games as it will use your GPU to render the games as well as reduce the input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then you'll find a list of all of the apps and games installed on your PC. Simply click on the browse button and then go to the install location of Apex Legends. I have already added Apex Legends in my list. Simply head over to options and then select high performance and this will ensure that your GPU is getting enough power and it prefers your GPU to render the game. Select on save and you're good to go. This video sponsor Skycoach is just the one for you. Skycoach offers all kind of coaching, leveling up and improvement for your favorite games and you can get it for Apex Legends as well. Skycoach offers you coaching, leveling up, helps you rank up your game, unlock operators and so much more. Serving over 150,000 customers, Skycoach is completely safe and the reviews are awesome. Skycoach also offers coaching in almost 30 plus games. So if you guys want to use Skycoach, you can find a link to it in the description below and use my code BearFox to get 10% off. Step number two is the compatibility settings. And for that, open up Steam on your PC or anywhere you have installed Apex Legends from. Right click on that, go over to manage and then click on browse local files. This will take you to the game directory. Right click on r5apex.exe and then go over to properties. Click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Then select change high DPI settings and then select override high DPI scaling behavior. Set this thing to application, click on OK and then apply. Step number three is disabling unwanted startup applications. And for that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and this will open up Task Manager. Go over to Startup Applications and then start disabling the applications that you do not frequently use. This will help you to make sure that all of the applications are turned off since the boot of your PC and you can only open these applications when you need them and this will help less number of applications and processes running in the background and while playing the game to gain extra FPS. Right over here, you'll also find services and in here, you'll find something called sysmain. Simply press S on your PC and then scroll a little bit down until you find sysmain. Simply right click on it and then click on stop if it is running on your PC. This will also help you to gain extra FPS in many cases. Next step is deanimating your windows and this is super important. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and once the small window opens up, click on adjust for best performance, then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnail instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will ensure the minimal look of windows and ultimately disabling all unwanted animations that may consume your CPU resources. Right after that, head over to advanced section and set up your virtual memory. Click on the change button and then then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Select on custom size and the initial size should be 1361 MB. The maximum size should be half of your total physical memory. So for that, search for system information and then look on your memory. It is 32 GB for me. So simply open up a calculator and drag it right beside your virtual memory. Multiply the total installed memory with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set, click on OK and this will effectively set your virtual memory that is best suited for gaming. Click on apply and let it do the job. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using Noping. Noping is a tool that helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers. It eliminates all kind of lags, ping issues, latency and so much more. You can simply download this from the link in the description below. Once this application opens up, you'll see a simple interface just like this. Look for your game that is Apex Legends, click on select the server and then you'll find a list of all of the game servers that are available to connect. You'll find the server as well as the ping next to them. 
You can select the server with the least amount of ping that is Singapore 1 that is available for me and then click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize the game for you. The best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here which helps you to enable turbo games that improves your keyboard response time and it also helps you to boost your FPS. Simply enable all of the options that I have enabled right over here and it will optimize just everything you need to gain extra FPS and remove some of the unwanted services running in the background. I highly recommend you guys to use no ping so you can find it from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here you have to find the local disk C. Simply click on create and name it Apex just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential to restore everything if you guys run into any problems. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties. Now next step is the Apex Legends Season 22 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this thing up. Once you open up the folder, you'll find 5 simple folders like this. First one is the CPU Priority. Open it up and you'll find an AMD and Intel CPU Priority. If you use an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU Priority and it will optimize the CPU just the way the game wants it and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority and it will do the same second folder is the apex legends priority in which i have left three simple files you can simply run them according to your pc you can leave your pc specs down in the comments below or you can simply apply high priority just right away this will prioritize your game and allocate more cpu resources towards the game and that will help you to gain extra fps third folder is the ram optimization and this is how you optimize your ram and make it more efficient for gaming you can simply run the ram module registry that you have on your pc i have 32 gb so i need to run this one but i have left a lot of presets right over here so you guys can choose from i have also left a reset to default just in case you want to reset anything that you don't like fourth folder is the input lag fix and over here i have left the keyboard latency fix and a mouse latency fix for keyboard latency fix you can leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from and for mouse latency registries run both of them but if you have a laptop i highly recommend you guys not to run the disable pointer precision as it will make your cursor very very slow fifth folder is the unpack cpu and this will help you to prioritize your cpu simply right click and run this as administrator this simple program helps you to unpack your cpu cores unpacking your cpu cores means that some of the cpu cores which are not are in use they are being put into rest mode by your pc what you have to do is simply slide this core parking index all the way to 100% and then choose the system plan to ultimate or high performance available on your PC and then simply click on apply. This will make sure that all of the CPU cores are up and running and you are getting the best experience and best performance possible from your CPU. Once that is done, simply close this application and drop into the game settings for Apex Legends. Okay, once you are in your game, press the settings button right over here and then go over to settings. In here, go to video settings and for the display mode, make sure to set it to full screen. Aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio. Resolution should also be your native resolution. Brightness should be adjusted according to your monitor. FOV should be 110 and both of them should be enabled and minimal. V-Sync should be turned off. Nvidia Reflex, I highly recommend you guys to go with enabled plus boost. Anti-aliasing should be none. Texture streaming budget, I prefer to set it at low texture filtering and isotropic 2x works fine however you can also go for bilinear if your pc is super low end ambient occlusion quality set this thing to disable both of the sun shadow coverage and detail set this thing to high spot shadow detail should also be set to high volumetric lightning should be disabled this is a huge fps impactor dynamic spot shadows you have to disable it model detail high map detail high effect detail low impact marks disabled and ragdolls low once that is done click on apply head over to the audio section over here then you'll find sound in the background simply turn this thing off and once that is done you are good to go playing apex with the best settings possible on your pc so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me out grow the channel also we have introduced channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really encourages me to make more awesome guys like this we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching by fox and peace out